all right good afternoon dear students so today we are going to start with a new topic under block 23 okay so the topic of our discussion for today is important longitude and time all right so first of all before we get started we will be using this particular diagram okay for our further explanation so you please uh, uh, be familiar with this diagram okay so this is known as longitude okay longitude yesterday we have learned about latitude right latitude is parallel okay parallel these are latitude and today we're going to learn about the longitude means the vertical line all right this vertical line today we're going to learn about this so please familiarize yourself with this particular picture okay this is a globe all right so our aim for today is students will be able to calculate the time at a place using longitudes and the resources needed is a globe worksheet as to your notebook and your exit content book all right so the key words for today is longitude and prime meridian okay so let's learn the meaning of keywords what is longitude it is an any imaginary line perpendicular to the equator and part of a great circle passing through the north pole and south pole they are known as longitude okay as i have shown you longitude means it is an any imaginary line okay passing through the north pole and the south pole there are not there those are known as longitude and what is prime meridian the reference line at zero degree longitude passing through greenwich england from which longitude is and which is measured all right so primarily means the line which is indicated in the middle all right so it is uh see the reference line at zero degree okay longitude passing through greenwich england from which longitude east and waist is measured all right waist and east is measured okay now i'm gonna show you a globe okay globe this is a globe all right so all of you please observe carefully this is called a globe okay or before we start with our class i have even shown you right the demo so this is a globe okay so now what you have to do is uh what are lines of longitude how many lines of longitude are there in all name one important line of longitude that you have learn about so how many line of longitude do you see all right one two three four five six seven eight nine all right you so you can see nine right so name one important line of longitude that you have learned about what is that one important line of longitude that you have learned about as you can see here it is the greenwich meridian okay prime meridian or greenwich meridian all right all right so now line of longitude as i've explained to you from the meaning are imaginary all right vertical lines running north and south and meeting at the poles this there are 360 line of longitude in all okay so they are referred to by stating the degree of longitude followed by east or west of the prime meridian for example 20 degree east the prime meridian is the most 
important line of longitude okay so the prime meridian divides the earth into two equal half the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere all right so talking about this okay the prime meridian or the greenwich meridian it divides the uh, globe into two equator okay west and eastern all right into western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere okay so that is the importance of prime meridian all right as a divide okay as a divide uh, as a divide the earth into two equal half that is the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere is that clear now today we will learn how to calculate the time at a place that is using longitudes now how long does the earth take to complete one rotation and how many degrees does it turn during one rotation answer is given so we know in a day we have 24 hours to complete one rotation okay one rotation and how many degrees it turns during one rotation it takes around 360 degree okay 360 degree 360 degrees round okay 360 degree so the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation to make one day is that clear and when it comes to revolution means 365 days and 366 days in a leap year okay to complete one revolution don't get confused with rotation and revolution okay rotation means one day revolution means one year okay so the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation and it takes it turns 360 degree during one rotation okay so if the earth takes 24 hours to turn 360 degree how many degrees does it turn in one hour so we know that the earth takes 24 hours okay to turn 360 degree so how many degrees does it turn in one hour and how long will it take to turn one you have to solve the problem in your notebook okay this is an uh something to do with your math all right mates so you have to do it in you have to solve it in your notebook okay so if you see that uh you will find the answer that the earth turns 15 degree in one hour okay suppose 360 degree it takes to complete 24 hours right so if you divide you have to divide okay please divide this one by yourself how many degrees does it turn in one hour how long will it take to turn degree one all right this one you please divide okay after dividing it you'll find that it comes to 15 15 okay 15 in one hour so the earth turns 15 degree in one hours right so if you multiply 24 with 15 you will get the answer okay 5 for the 20 5 to the 10 and 12 1 for the 4 1 to the 2 so if you get if you add you will get 360 that is how you find the answer again yeah, the earth takes turn 15 degree in one hour all right so the earth takes four minutes to turn one okay remember the earth take four minutes to turn one okay now since the earth rotates from waist to east all right the earth it rotates from ways to is okay like this all right so countries in the eastern hemisphere faces the sun before those in the western hemisphere this is why eastern country are ahead of the prime meridian in time okay 
so what the question is asking is since the arrow gear rotates from waist to east from waist to east all right so countries in the eastern hemisphere they face the sun all right they face the sun okay before those of the western hemisphere this is why eastern countries are ahead of prime meridian in time okay so um, see if the time at zero degree if the time at zero degree is 2 a.m if the time at zero degree talking about this prime meridian okay, zero degree so the time at 15 degree east 15 degree east will be 3 a.m because one hour is equal to 15 degree right so from zero if you turn to one hour it will come 15 degree and then the time will change to 3 a.m all right from 2 a.m okay after 15 degree after one hour means 2 to 3 one hour right so you will come to 3 a.m stay clear now you have to grow the table in your notebook and then you have to calculate the time at different lines of longitude east of the prime meridian when the time at the prime meridian is 2 so what you have to do is prime meridian is talking about the center okay so if the prime meridian is okay 2 a.m all right so draw the table in notebook and calculate the time at different line of longitude east means talking about this side okay east and this side is waist so you have to calculate the time at different lines of longitude east of the prime meridian east of the prime meridian talking about this line okay when the prime meridian time at the prime meridian is 2 a.m all right okay please look here okay and then try to give uh try to solve by yourself so what you have to do is i'm not going to sh uh, solve to you okay i'm just going to show you how you are going to do 24 hours we know that it is 360 degree so one hour is equal to how many degree all right i'll show you okay it comes to 15 degree right so one hour is equal to 60 minutes 60 minutes so in one hour we have 60 minutes right equal to 50 degree so in order to turn one what will be the answer for this that one you have to do by yourself okay so you please try in your notebook okay by yourself now all right uh you have to fill in the table on the board okay with the answer that is shown in the picture all right so after you are done what you have to do is you'll find this answer okay so we came to know that if the prime meridian is 2 a.m okay so after one hour it will turn to 3 a.m after 30 degree it will come to 4 a.m similarly after 45 degree you have to add 15 15 15 okay 15 ones are 15 15 twos are 30 15 threes are 45 15 four is a 60 like that so after here you have to increase one one two to three three to four four to five five to six like that okay so very simple so if the question is asking a uh, prime meridian we took as 2 a.m and then we know that prime minister a uh, prime meridian is always equal to zero okay so from there you have to take to the eastern side right and then after one line after each line you just add one 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 okay two to three two to four four to five like that all right now 
how do we calculate how do we calculate the time when we go east of the prime meridian west of the prime meridian let me show you quickly okay so when we go east of the prime meridian we'll calculate an increase of four minutes for every one degree and when we go west of the prime meridian talking about this one again okay? so when we go east east means this side and west means this side okay so when we go east of the prime meridian talking about this side we calculate an increase of four minutes okay in every one degree and when we go to the waist of the prime meridian we calculate a decrease means here increase and here degrees east western side you have to decrease four eastern side you have to increase one for every one degree okay so when the time at zero is 2 a.m zero is 2 a.m the time at 15 degree waist means it will be one so from two it will turn to one because we are decreasing and from the eastern side it will increase to two to three like that okay very simple the last question so imagine a situation in which every country uses its own central longitude as the zero degree or the prime meridian to calculate time in such a, in such a situation what difficulties would the world face so you have to imagine a situation okay in which every country uses uses its own central longitude at the zero longitude zero degree longitude or the prime meridian to calculate time in such a, in such a situation what difficulties would the world face imagine every country uses its own central prime meridian again okay, longitude zero degree so what the situation will what difficulties will the world face all right so see uh if that is the case different countries they will have different time and different dates all right so traveling to conducting so traveling to or conducting business with and communicating with people in different countries will become very difficult okay will become very difficult because if every country they started using their own prime meridian so the times and the date will different okay differ from countries to countries and then it will become very difficult for communication purpose as well as for traveling purpose as well as for conducting business so those are the problems that people might face okay now things to do you have to complete your uh, okay practice question number four and five okay practice question number four and five along with your worksheet s2 okay that's it for today take care and have a good day